Hi, I'm Simon Eastwood. I'm composer of Triptych for two. It was written as a study in rhythm. So uh, rhythm, something that I felt wasn't very rigorously applied in my a lot of a lot of my composition up to this point. I think I was writing a lot of very kind of long tones and textures and stuff. And so I decided I really wanted to work with ideas of pulse and different kinds of um, rhythmic development. And so it grew out of that desire. Um, the the instrumentation came up when uh, Nato and Monique, um, who the piece is written for, they um, presented a call for scores for violin and percussion, which is a really um, interesting lineup. It's not something you see a lot. And so I thought that would be like the ideal situation to sort of try out some of these ideas of rhythmic relationships um, between um, those two instruments, the violin and the percussion player. When it came to the percussion, um, a lot of my music I think deals with limitations. I like music that um, is very constrained. I think it makes me more creative within those parameters. And um, I had, I remember when I was playing in a, in a rock band back in the day, um, my friend who played drums showed me these um, videos of the snare drum championships where you've just got people just going nuts on a snare, just a snare drum, and I was just amazed at how much you could get out of this one really simple instrument. And um, generally, I, I'm not a huge fan of writing for large, huge percussion setups. I mean, I love, I love listening to them, but in terms, as a composer, I just find it, it's, the possibilities are too kind of overwhelming. Um, so I like to keep things very simple. And um, I also kind of like the idea of a very mobile piece, so something that um, you know, the players could kind of take anywhere. There wasn't a huge logistical challenge to set it up. Um, so I kind of approached it as sort of a, um, a quirky little busking piece almost that you could sort of set up anywhere and just go. The first movement um, deals with polyrhythms, so it starts off with a, with a four against three and expresses that throughout. Um, the, the material grows organically in, um, in an owl system, which is a sort of a fractal way of developing material. And um, that eventually turns into sort of a pretty simple three against two, and then eventually the four against three relationship is flipped in the um, sort of recapitulation, I guess, at the end. So it's a very abstract idea, it's talking about um, relationships, rhythmic relationships, developing those in a, almost kind of a mathematical way almost and then um, playing with inversions and relationships between the two parts. The second movement is a bit more, is a lot simpler rhythmically, it's in 3-4 the whole way. Um, it's got this 3-4 pulse that just keeps going and going and going but um, what it does do is it plays with um, phrasing and dynamics as a sort of a larger scale rhythmic device. Um, so it sort of plays with those longer ideas, whereas the first movement was all about those very small relationships from bar to bar and how they changed. Um, and then the third movement um, plays with blocks of sound, um, where rather than being um, just bar by bar, or focusing on the phrase as a whole, it sort of takes material and chops it up and creates a rhythmic interplay on that level. Um, and it sort of borrows a lot from um, you know, Shirino and 
and that, that sort of sound. Just something um, a lot more fiery to kind of finish the set and tie it all up. Thank you.